Get up. It's time for school. You're gonna be late. It's your fault. It's always your fault for not sitting still. Now sit still. My heart's sad and I am all forlorn. My heart is reading me me. I regret the day that I was born. And that man of mine I've ever seen. My happiness is never last today. My heart is almost breaking while I say. Hurry up and eat. You're going to be late for the bus. Just one egg? You want to stay skinny? You want a husband? Do you want to be fat? You eat the portions mommy give you, okay? If I have to take you to school, it's going to be a problem, Alice. Hurry up to eat, love. <sighs> Uh-oh. Look what you've done! I'm sorry. You know what this calls for, Alice? And Mother doesn't like to do it. Come on, little girl! Now look what you've done, Alice! You can spend your time downstairs with the roaches. was thinking and you know I do I do apologize for being so harsh earlier I made you another egg Alice Alice dear
Mother's gonna fix you. Mother's gonna, mother's gonna take care of you. And mother's gonna fix you. Don't you worry, guys. You're always gonna be mother's dog. No one will leave you like your father did me. I will always be here, Alice. It's okay. Now you eat this one before it gets cold again! I, I know you're a little upset, Alice. Because, you know, the, we haven't been on great terms in the air conditioning. But, we, we need to keep your bedroom cold, darling. Cold as can be, so you can always stay fresh. And it doesn't ruin your makeup! Mother loves you, and you know I do. Alice's mom, right? Alice's mother. Well, I'm Heather's mom. She hasn't seen Alice for quite some time now. I believe a couple of months. You do know a child's education is very important. Alice took a very tragic tumble down the stairs. And she's, she's getting better. Poor thing. And I know that must be really hard on you. She's getting much better. I'm taking care of her. How did she end up taking the divorce? Excuse me? Did you seriously just ask me about my divorce? Why does everyone want to know about Alice's father? No one ever asked about me. How I'm feeling. I'm sorry for disturbing you. I should really get going. Darius Fagney. And by the choices you choose to put in your basket, I can tell Heather is very much overweight. since you last heard from me, 
but I, I think I think we should do something as a family tonight. I, look, I miss Alice. I miss my daughter so much. So I'm stopping by in ten minutes. I hope to see you soon. Alice, dear. I'm home. Can you please come help mother unload the groceries? Alice, now how many times have I told you? TV rots your brain. Gosh, now help unload those groceries. If you know what's good for you, you get in that kitchen and you unload those fucking groceries or it's back to the basement. You bet. Ah, these fucking Jehovah Witnesses, I swear. They ring my... <gasps> now what in God's name are you doing here? Please, please. I'm just here to see Alice. Now, I won't be long, okay? David, I swear, if you come any closer... I just really... I just really miss my daughter. You don't get to see her. You haven't even let me talk to her. You made that decision when you walked out of this right, house. I have the right to see my daughter. You don't get to see her right now, David, okay? Now listen, you're not gonna hold me back. You're gonna let me in. Let you me, don't, you're you don't gonna get let to me back. Ah! David, don't you go up there. David, goddammit, I told you to stay out of my fucking house. Ah! Where is she? David, you might as well come back. Alice is on punishment. Where the fuck is my daughter? You gotta tell me where the fuck is she? David, just get the fuck out of my house. You're gonna tell me where the fuck is she? She's on punishment. I said, where the fuck is she? Where is she? you so much. Alice? Huh. The fuck? The fuck? What, what the fuck did you- ah! Now look what you've done. You are never a father to her. You were never father to her. Never. <clears throat> you were never father to her. You were never father to her. You were never father. You were never father to her. You were never father. Never father. Never. Look at all of this mess. It's all because of you. You know, we wouldn't be in this predicament if it wasn't for you, David. But you know what? Since we're all here tonight as a family, I think we should have a dinner. We're going to sit down at a dinner table and we're going to be one again. A loving husband. A loving fucking daughter! And you know what? It finally gives me that excuse to wear that beautiful necklace you got me for our anniversary. Remember that, darling? Right before you gave that cheap bitch the same one. How I've longed for a family dinner. A moment like this deserves our finest tables. The big one, you know, you know, you know, David, the, the big ones with, you know, for the special occasions. <sighs> oh, and our good chairs. The real comfy ones, you know, with the cushion, with the patterns. Your mother used to love those, David. Your mother used to fucking love those. <laughs> she used to always come over and be like, why don't y'all put the padding on the chairs? And I'd be like, no, those are for special occasions, honey. 
Remember when we put these chairs in the basement because we didn't want Alice to ruin them? <laughs> David. And here she is. My little doll. I think she's finally mature enough. You're not the little mess maker you used to be, Alice. David, don't you look at me like that. Please, finish your peas, honey. Oh, please, you're not gonna eat your fucking peas? A moment like this deserves our finest cutlery. And you know what? My good china that glisten like a mirror. And, and, oh, and I'm gonna wear, I'm gonna wear my expensive makeup. Oh, David, I'm so in love with you. And my dress, that beautiful dress, that beautiful gown. Remember when I wore it once? Um, I, I believe it was over what, over 15 years ago. It was over 15 years ago, and it still fits like a fucking glove. <laughs> Mother still is skinny, David. Just like that other bitch. <laughs> but where is she? <laughs> You're here with me. <laughs> I love it. I love it. What? What are you looking at? Hmm? I thought you quit smoking. You listen here, little child. Mother's gonna smoke this one. And then guess what? She's gonna chain smoke the rest of the fucking pack all fucking night, okay? I don't mind throwing you back into the basement. You'll understand when you become a mother yourself one day. Now, you see, Losing a, a daughter, that's the most painful thing I've ever felt. <laughs> but I'm glad I'll never lose you, my sweet, sweet Alice. <gasps> David is on fire! Oh my God, David, do something! Why the fuck are you just looking at the fire? Dead. <laughs> 